Denial of evolution is unique to the United States, and the United States is still the most technologically advanced society on Earth, with most of the innovations occurring here. Mr. Nye seemed confused by this, but should he be? Often I meet people who don't believe in creation, and I say, why not? The scientific community has no evidence to support its claim that everything came from nothing. There is no evidence that complexity comes from chaos without intelligent input. There is no scientific evidence that life started from non-life. But evolutionists are willing to claim their beliefs rest on evidence. Why would you believe something with no evidence to support it? The study of life science when you deny creation is like studying computer technology while denying engineers and software designers. You just aren't going to get the right answer. Geneticists know that with every generation, hundreds to thousands of new damaging mutations enter the human genome. This means humanity's genome is slowly deteriorating. This is consistent with the second law of thermodynamics, which state that without energy put into a system, it will decay. This is exactly what the Bible documents as the declining human lifespan recorded in Scripture perfectly matches the biological decay curve. There has never been one genetic mutation which actually advanced a species. Every genetic mutation ever documented causes the species to deteriorate. All documentable mutations lose genetic information and slowly degrade life. As Scripture says, dying you will die. Critics of Scripture point to the Genesis account and laugh. On day one, let there be light, but it wasn't until day four that the sun, moon, and stars were created. How was there light without a sun, moon, and stars? We scientists know radio dating documents the Earth and the universe are billions of years old. How can you creationists claim it is only six to 10,000 years old? It's really rather simple. Genesis doesn't describe the creation of the universe, but the creation of the solar system. Job 38 states that the angels sang together for joy when Earth was created. This indicates that intelligent life was already in existence in the universe when Earth was created, and Genesis 1 describes the Earth as a deep, dark, empty void in space in which no light existed. What is being described is a black hole in the Milky Way galaxy. So that on day one, God said, let there be light, God dissipated a black hole, and the light from the rest of the galaxy was now seen. God used the matter at the core of the black hole, which God had created billions of years in the past to create the Earth, Sun, Moon, and stars of our solar system, Mercury, Venus, and Mars. Thus, terraforming of planet Earth occurred six to 10,000 years ago, but the universe and the rock from which Earth is built was created billions of years ago. What science calls evolution is merely adaptation built into the fabric of life. The ability to change and transform based on experience, which is not mutation driving change as evolutionists claim, but experience altering gene expression through epigenetic modification, which happens from one generation to the next, just as scripture says, Unhealthy choices are passed down three and four generations. Darwin's famous finches purported to have adapted different beaks through genetic mutation from environmental pressures over millions of years have been proven to have no genetic mutation, but instead epigenetic modification occurring within one to two generations, just as the Bible teaches. I say to Mr. Nye and the grown-ups, if you want to deny creation and live your life in a world where you refuse to include all the evidence, in a world where things don't make sense, that's fine. But don't make your kids do it because we need them. We need adults with open minds who are not afraid to look at the evidence, who can be honest with the data, who have minds open to possibilities not immediately in evidence in order to continue to have a society that is the greatest in science, technology, and new discoveries. In a couple of centuries, I'm sure that the evolutionary worldview just won't exist. The evidence doesn't support it.